is Sir Mingham. I'm a disabled vlogger. And the dogs asked me here today because we we've been friends for like 11 years. And we wanted to, he wants to know, because obviously I do my vlogging, he does his videos, he wants to know what. Ask me a few questions about the vlogging. Uh, the first one is, what is it like being a vlogger with a disability? At times it can be challenging because when you're going down the street, like most vloggers, they can have the f phone out here, get the vlog with a phone, which I do, or you can vlog with a camera. Either they hold the camera out here, like Nadal's camera, which he's using, or like a little camera, like GoPros or something. Um, it's difficult. So mine's normally on my like on my knee. I'm looking down at that, like looking at the camera for some part of it, or then I'm looking ahead because I've got a driver at the same time because I'm in my wheelchair. Um, but it can be like hindering, especially if I'm going to the shop because you get people looking at you like, what is he doing? And then I'm just like, eh, they're not looking at me anyway, I'm in the wheelchair. But you know, um, when did I start YouTube is the next one. I started YouTube initially seven years ago. Yeah, seven years ago. And I, all I did back then, I did stupid videos. Back then you could do any video you want. So I did singing videos, I did dance videos. Don't worry, they've been taken down so you can't see my fat body doing it. They, um, I did mostly singing videos. And then I did like a challenge video back in the day which was the flower challenge. Please don't search it, it's disgusting. Um, but then after that, I kind of left it for like three, four years and then got back into it in 2015, so three years, yeah. Got back into it in 2015, started doing some vlogs here and there, and then it just became a thing where I, if I go out and I get, feel like I'm gonna vlog, I'm gonna vlog. So that's how I started my YouTube. Um, why did I start making videos on YouTube at the beginning? Like I just said, in the beginning it was just for the fun. It was never for the views or anything because I'm not, even now it's not for the views. Uh, I do it because I enjoy it and it's one of the things, if I can if I can film something and I can enjoy doing it while I'm doing it, it's going to give me a sense of pride. I'll never put out a bad video. If I know the video is bad, it doesn't go out. That's with anything I do. If I'm recording something and I'm out and about and uh, I, I watch it back and the uh, the audio is bad or people are looking too much and I'm like because I, I do get self-conscious at times but if I'm getting self-conscious in a video I'm looking back and I'm like no nah, that's not going up record another one another day but it, 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 yeah that's why I kind of do it because it gives me a sense of happiness but yeah um the next one is what's the pos positives of being a vlogger youtuber I think yeah and more of, I'm kind of basing all these questions up in what I'm saying is the positives is like I get to, I get to record my life from when I want to and then memories for me so I can go 10 years from now and I'm gonna go back into a video that I've recorded and I go oh do you remember when we did this and most people are gonna go oh no I'm gonna remember it because I'm gonna go how oh, I got it on YouTube I can hopefully YouTube still still a thing of like 10 years maybe it may not be it might be something completely different but I can at least go back into this this platform and go oh I remember when I did this go back to that video and go, that was fun. It's nice to relive that memory. Um, what's the most challenging thing? Stumbling across making a video. The editing. I'm not good at editing. So that's like, I'm terrible at editing. Like I want to do like jump cuts and black screens and stuff like that. And I physically can't because I don't have the one, I don't have the software to do it, and two, I just don't have the skill. But, like, it's one of the things, like, if I'm going to ever record an elaborate video, I know I've got a doll, so we can record it on his camera, he can do the editing, and then we go, alright, and the doll's got credit for it, because they'll put it in, filmed by him, and then we just go from there with it. But that's the main thing that I, I struggle with the most, is, like, editing the videos. Because then, even with my, my vlogs, um, I'm, put, I'm only putting clips together but I've got to make sure that the the clips are one in tune everyone's thinking everyone can hear me everyone can see me and then I, if I'm trying to put other stuff in the video it just doesn't work so that sucks but you know it's part of what happens um do I feel like I've helped people who don't have a voice to speak to speak to them currently I kind of do yes because there are some people out there that I know of that want to do the whole YouTube side of thing or even just talking like even just talking to a camera just sitting there doing a go live and 
some of them are a little bit like, oh, well, I, sh I can't do that. People make fun of me because of it. And then when I started doing it back in 2015, I was petrified of going out and doing the whole, oh my God, I got my phone out. Oh my God, I'm trying to, I'd go past people and I'd be recording myself and I wouldn't say nothing. Now I'm just like, all right, I'm going past people, I'm talking, I'm laughing about stupid things. That's just me. And I've had other people go to me, well, how can you do it? I said, to be honest, you just got to go, you kind of got to run with that. Yeah, but I tried to do it, and there are all the questions, by the way. I tried to do it with most people who are like, oh, I want to do this, but I know that if I do it, I'm going to get laughed at for it. Now, yeah, you're going to get laughed at, but the more times you do it, the more people are going to go, oh, he's not backing down from this. He's actually going to continue doing it. And that's why, like, my mum, dear bless her, before this recording session, she went to me, make sure you speak properly. I'm like, okay. She goes, no, I watch half your vlogs and you don't talk properly. I'm like, okay. But she's, like, one of the best people that goes to me. Don't give up. If you don't get, like, well, obviously, I say with views. I never get, um, like, loads of views on it. Some videos do better than others, some videos do worse than others. Um, it depends on what type of video I'm doing. But even if I do a bad video and it only gets like two views, I know one of them views is my mom and she'll go, alright, this is where you can improve. So, and if anybody, I aspire to try and be, to be good so that my family can see that I'm actually happy in my life. But yeah, that's literally why I do my vlogging, I am disabled. And if you're watching this and you are disabled, don't let anything like put you down. You can do it. You may need the help, obviously, but dream to the fucking max. I'm sorry I swore. Dream to the max and uh, get on with your life. I've been signing them and the doors behind the camera. And yeah.